So for simplifying, we have 2 eighths. You're going to find out what number divides evenly into both the numerator and the denominator. So we know the only thing that can be divided into 2 is a 1 or a 2. If we divide anything by 1, it's not going to ever go lower. So let's try 2. Does 2 go into 2 and 8? Yes. 1 fourth. So 2 eighths is the same as 1 fourth. And what it means... It means we have two squares that are the same size. This one is cut into eight pieces, and this one is cut into four pieces. And two eighths means that two of these squares are Um, colored in, and then one of these squares out of four is colored in. And we can actually sometimes even make it smaller. This one's as small as it can go because one and four do not share another common number. But if you have a number like 8 fourths, you could divide it by 2. You could divide it by... Eight. When you're simplifying, you want to find the biggest number that they share in common, which is sometimes the numerator. So try the numerator and see, does both numbers divide in? So for this one, if we divide it by 2, say you thought it was 2, you would get 4 twelfths. But 4 twelfths can be simplified because they both share a 4. So we would have to do it again. We don't want to have to do it more than once. So always just see, uh, is the numerator the number that divides in? If not, what's the biggest number that can divide into both the numerator and the denominator? So for this one, we have 8 fourths. We can divide it by 8. Is that true? Yes. And then that's as low as it can go. So I'm going to give you some of these. Do you understand this now? Um, Miss Lila? Yeah. Okay, so well, if you had 3 fifteenths, what number do you think we should divide it by? What goes into both 3 and 15 when we're dividing? Oh, I think you're muted. Um, is it... Is it what? Is it 2? So we can't divide 2 into 3. We can't divide 2 into 15. Is it 3? Yeah, let's try 3. So you're going to divide the numerator by 3, and you're going to divide the denominator by 3, and see if that gives you an even number. If it gives you an even number, that's the answer. So does that divide in evenly? 3 divided by 3 and 15 divided by 3? Um, One-fifth? Yes. So how about, let's try a little harder one, 8.30 seconds. So let's find out, does it, does it divide by 8? That's the easiest thing to check. Does it divide by the numerator? So try dividing 8 and 32 by 8. Does that work? Yes. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it doesn't divide, it just means you didn't find the right number. So 
So what would your answer be? 8 divided by 8 is? Oh, oh wait, you got 1. And then 32 divided by 8 is? 4. Good. All right, so try these for homework. 2 over 10, 8 over 32, 9 over 18, 3 over 9, 4 divided, uh, 4 by 8, 3 by 12. 9, Wait, 4 and 8, 4 over 8 is 1 half, right? 4 over 8, yeah. And then 9 over 18 is 1 half. Yeah. It's not going to always be the number. Like, it could be, um, if you had 6 eighths, it would not be 6. But you still check. What else could it be? So what are the numbers that divide into 6? We have 1. What else? 3. D does 2 divide into it? Yes. Does 3 divide into it? Yes. Does 4 divide into it? No. And we're already at the halfway point, so now we can close it off at 6. We did this last year. I don't know if you remember. Mm -hmm. And then we can do the same thing to 8. Does 1 go into it? Yes. Does 2 go into it? Yes. Does 3 go into it? No. Does 4 go into it? Yes. And then because we're at the halfway point, we just close it off at 8. Now we look and see what are the common numbers. 2. So we divide the numerator by 2 and we divide the denominator by 2. I'll give you some of those to practice. Okay, so you can try those ones. It may not be the numerator, but it does have a common number. So you can check and by finding the factors of what divides in, and you try all of them. Does one go into it? Does two? Does three? Does four? Are you doing all of them or just eight tenths or ten um, Let's do all of these. They'll be pretty quick. You have a whole week. You can just do a few a day or get them all over in two days, however you want to do it. Okay, here is your story. So I'm going to stop this video.